Hello everyone. Um, again, we're just going to wait a minute until um, we get a couple people in here. Um, but before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to those that tuned in yesterday um, and those that watched it afterwards. I hope you gained some great knowledge from what we talked about yesterday and you were able to work it into your daily routine. Um, and continue to do so. So um, we're back again today for another tip. We're gonna go through an exercise again today, but this time we're gonna target the upper body um, or more specifically the chest, the triceps and the shoulders. Um, so why don't we um, get started with it right away? So our exercise today is gonna be a modified push-up. So um, instead of getting on the ground to do a push-up, we are going to um, be working against a wall. Um, I know it's hard for a lot of us to get onto the ground and then to get back up from the ground. Um, so you can get the same effect of a push-up if you're working against a wall or even a countertop. And so we'll talk about some of those variations in a minute here, but um, let's get started. I'm gonna use the wall behind me. Um, so first we're gonna go with a, um, more of the normal or general push-up. Um, so you're gonna want your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Um, and you're gonna place your hands on the wall at about shoulder height. Um, so if you can see that, my hand is just outside of my shoulder at about shoulder height. Other one, same, on the opposite side. And so what we're gonna do is take one big step back from the wall. So you're leaning into the wall now. And again, just like we talked about yesterday with our spine, we want a nice neutral spine. I don't wanna see any rounding of the back. Keep that back nice and tall, neutral spine. And what we're simply going to do is lean forward into the wall and press ourselves slowly back out. Press into the wall and slowly back out. Try to avoid pushing too fast where your hands come off the wall. Um, that can be dangerous for balance. It can cause us to shift off balance. And also your muscles are doing a lot less work um, when they're not pressed into the wall. So try to avoid doing that. Another variation of this exercise, you can take a narrow grip, so you can bring your hands kind of in, in a little bit. I like to go about shoulder um, distance apart, and again, shoulder height. So we take our hands, place them on the door at about shoulder height. This one is gonna work more of the tricep and the back of the arm versus um, the other one worked more of the chest and the shoulders. So again, nice narrow grip, shoulder width. Take that step back away from the wall. Feet can be about hip width apart, just a natural, um, normal width apart. Whatever feels comfortable for you, your feet don't really matter for this one. You can go really wide to give yourself a little bit more of a stable base um, if you need it, but we're gonna go about hip width apart for this one. And again, just leaning forward into the wall and pressing back out. Lean forward in and press back out. Excellent. Okay, so I know this one was a quick one today, um, but had a lot less content to cover. So. Um, again, working this into your daily routine, like I mentioned, it can be done against a wall. You can lean with your hands on the corner of your countertop or your dining room table and do the same. Um, I would recommend anywhere from 10 to 20 repetitions at a time. So again, if you're um, in your kitchen doing whatever, just take a minute or so to um, press out 10 to 20 push-ups here and there. Keeps the blood flowing in the upper extremities. Um, keeps us healthy. Gets the mind right. All those good things. 
Um, I want to thank you all again for watching today. Um, I greatly enjoy having an audience um, live to teach and to pass knowledge on to. Um, as always, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, the Generations YouTube channel, um, for all of our exercise videos. Um, and if you missed um, any of these tips at 10, you can go on there and watch it once again. This will be posted to our Facebook page as well. So it'll be um, on there for, for viewing at all times. Um, so again, thank you all for, for watching today. Um, stay healthy and stay well. See you tomorrow.